nine lessons under Sergei Rachmaninoff. And of course, Mr. Rachmaninoff was a great believer in hard work, always telling me I didn't work hard enough. And that was as if anybody could tell my father that I needed to work harder. He had me up by 6 a.m. and had me working all day, had me working in order to earn my breakfast, and then in order to earn my lunch, and then in order to earn my supper at night, in order to earn my walk, in order to earn the privilege of going to sleep at night. Oh, it was forever, always working. And Mr. Rachmaninoff said about this, nine hours a day, why, that's nothing. He said, at one point, I worked 17 hours a day. And I said, well, what made you work so hard? He said he wanted to have a technique that would approach that of Joseph Hoffman. And that's how great Joseph Hoffman was revered by one of the titans of the keyboard. Not only that, but by a creative artist, not just a recreative artist such as me. So it gave me a lot of respect for the work of Joseph Hoffman. Not only was Rahman enough feeling like that, but almost any pianist, any pianist, thought that the titans of the past were far greater than any of the people that were really playing quite a bit in my era of growing up. Joseph Hoffman was singular. That's quite something to be able to say I knew him. <laughs>